Uh, good morning, everybody. Today I have with me Dr. Jeff Burton, who's from the School of Life Sciences at the University of Dundee in Scotland, United Kingdom. Uh, I welcome you to OSCET. Thank you. So my first question to you is, what is your take on open science? Well, my main activities are in software development and bioinformatics, and one of the things we've done um, for many years is make our software openly available. So not just programs that you can run, but source code, so you can change it and modify it and improve it. Which is a huge plus for student community. Absolutely, well for everybody. It, everybody it really can. advances the science. And, and the other area where open science is very, has been very important is if you think about all the databases we use in, yeah. in DNA sequences, protein sequences, protein structures. These are completely open. Yeah. And, and in fact, when they're sequencing the genomes now, sequencing the human genome, they made the data available every night. So exactly. as soon as it came up with sequencing machines, you could get it in. Yeah, and it's and that's had a fantastic effect on how fast the science has gone forward. Yeah, and also coming back to how the conference is, the core area of the conference is to propagate open science among Absolutely. the community, and open source drug discovery is one such movement. Well, drug discovery is much harder. I mean, it's that's harder. Exactly. the genomics data that's been open. And of course, drug discovery relies on chemistry and chemical informatics. Yeah, exactly. And there, the situation has been completely different for, for decades. You know, totally, the, totally. the data for small molecules that might be drugs has been uh, not open. It's been closed. It's either, it's, closed right. it's either in companies or even when it's, even the database, the, 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 until very recently, the database that uh, stores compound structures, three-dimensional structures of small molecules, uh, has been commercial, only commercially available. You can get it as an academic. But you have to that's have the to shift, right? It. That's the shift you're seeing from classical and science and close up chemistry to the new that's science right. of doing chemistry, which that's one right. of the biggest examples is what we do here. Absolutely. The CRDB is one of our mm -hmm. databases that's open for chemistry people. Mm -hmm. You know, because chemistry as a society, anyways, was so close that that's right. maybe like what, what, 10 years back, and now they started opening it's it. It's starting, up. but it's still got it's a long way exactly. to go. Exactly. Because you do see that shift, right? You see them going from, even companies as a matter of fact, they go from rather than just being profit driven, they are going on to being open mm -hmm. about certain things for themselves. That's to right. identify those markets. That's right, absolutely. And they see, see some of the advantages for them, you know, for, particularly for the, the early, I think once they get to the point where they have a drug that's likely to go to market, exactly. then they obviously need to close it down a bit because yeah. they have to make money, they have to make they money have to, to run the business. Exactly. But at the early stages, they are willing to open it up, they are more flexible now. But one of the other areas, though, that's, that's still quite closed is the software. So a lot yes. of the software now yes. in, in chemical informatics is, is, is commercial. And the best software is commercial. If you really want to compete, you need to be using that able software. To be able to do that. Yes, so that if you want to develop, if you want to, and, and the kinds of things you're doing here, and I think it's part, at least part of this conference is about is developing improved ways of doing the what software you, side. What are you looking forward from the conference? Well, I just want to hear lots of really good talks and yeah, find, there out, are very good talks. find out what's happening in India because I always like coming to India and it's nice to hear the science here okay. and meet all the very enthusiastic students. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and it is a very beautiful yeah, city, so, so you know, I'm sure you'll see what's going on. Well, yeah. so, yeah. yeah. so I hope you have a really nice day and have a nice time at the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.